Yeah, they will obtain human bodies, but they will be poor and lowly with incomplete faculties, and their evil karma will cause them to suffer mental afflictions. Before long, they will fall into the evil path again, universally expensive, Bodhisattva. Such are the retributions that will be undergone by those who ridicule and slander others' acts of worship. How much worse will the retributions be if they have other evil views besides their slandering? <sighs> Moreover, universally expensive, in the future, man or woman may long be bedridden and in spite of their wishes be unable to either to get well or to die. At night they may dream of evil ghosts or family and relatives, you know, deceased, or of wandering on dangerous paths. In numerous nightmares they may roam with ghosts and spirits. As days, months, and years go by, such people may weaken and waste away, cry out in pain in their sleep, and become progressively depressed and melancholy. Those things happen when the force of karma has not yet been determined, which makes it difficult for them to die and impossible for them to be cured. The ordinary eyes of men and women cannot recognize such things. In that situation, some people should recite this sutra aloud once before the images of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. They should also offer possessions which those sick people cherish, such as clothing, jewels, gardens, or houses. They should speak distinctly to the sick person, saying, Now, before this sutra or, or these images, we are offering these items on behalf of these sick people. They might offer sutras or images or commission image of Buddhas or Bodhisattva or build stupas and monastery or light oil lamps or give to the eternal dwelling, I mean ashram. They should tell the sick people three times about the offerings that they are being made, informing them so they both hear and understand what is being done. You hear me? You understand? Yes. Okay, the people who are sick but cannot get well and cannot die, that means the decision has not been made from the Council of Judgment whether or how to condemn this person. So during these undecisive times, if they offer things to the Buddha's image only even, not the live Buddha even, or uh, recite this sutra of uh, Arsita Bodhisattva once in front of this Buddha's image, and get all the beloved items from the sick person to give it to charity or make it offer. Whatever they love, the sick person, beloved items, they should bring it out and offer it to the Buddha images and recite this sutra or give it to the monastery, sell it or buy lambs, buy oil, buy things to offer to the monks or the temple. Yeah. If their consciousness are already scattered and their breathing has stopped, mean the sick person, then for one, two, three, four, and on through seven days, others should continue to inform them clearly and to read this sutra aloud, even if the the person still not very conscious, yeah? Mm. But he will hear, you know, yeah, because his soul lives the body but can hear everything. When those people's lives end, they will gain liberation from all heavy and disastrous offenses they committed previous lives, even offenses warranting fivefold uninterrupted retribution, meaning even for the worst hell all these offenses will be cleansed if they recite this sutra in front of Buddha image for the dead, for the dying person. Yeah. They will be born in places where they will always know past lives. How much greater will the karmic reward be if good men or good women can write out this sutra themselves or commission others to do so? 
if they can carve or paint images themselves or commission others to do so, the benefits they receive will be great indeed. Therefore, universally expansive, if you see people reading and reciting this sutra or even having a single thought or praise for it, or if you meet someone who reveres it, you should employ hundreds of thousands of expedient means to exhort such people to be diligent and not retreat, you know, in spiritual belief. Yeah. In both the present and the future, they will be able to obtain billions of inconceivable meritorious virtues. Wow. Moreover, universally expensive. Beings in the future may, while dreaming or drowsy, see ghosts, spirits, and other forms that are either sad, weeping, or worried, fearful, or terrified. Those are all fathers, mothers, sons, daughters, brothers, sisters, husbands, wives, and relatives from this person, from one, ten, a hundred, or a thousand lives past, who has, have not yet been able to leave the bad destinies. They have no place from which to hope for the power of blessings to rescue them, and so they try to communicate with their closest descendants, hoping that those relatives will use some expedient devices to help them get out of the evil past. It's said that if uh, you see sometime in your dream, you know, some ghosts or some sad images of people, that means it's your far relatives in the past, past relatives, this you might not even know. They try to communicate this way, hoping that you understand and you pray for them or light incense for Buddha or do something to pray for them so that they can liberate themselves from the bad destinies. Universally expensive, using your spiritual powers, exhort those descendants to recite this sutra with sincere resolve before the images of Buddhas or Bodhisattvas or to request others to recite it, either three or seven times. When the sutra has been read aloud the proper number of times, relatives in the evil past will obtain liberation and never again be seen by those who are dreaming or drowsy. You know, the, the sad image will not appear anymore. Moreover, universally expensive people of low station and those who are slaves or who are bonded or who are deprived of their freedom in other ways may be aware of their past deeds and wish to repent of them and to reform. If while beholding and bowing to earth or Bodhisattva's image with sincere resolve, for seven days they are able to recite his name a full ten thousand times. Then when their current retribution ends, those people will always be born into wealth and honor for thousands of lives. How much the more will they avoid having to endure any of the sufferings of the three evil paths? But have to recite with sincerity, huh? Not just say, okay, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> then, then it's better put the record player on. <laughs> It has to be from the heart, yeah? Our intention is important. Moreover, in the future, in Jambudvipa, when the wives of uh, Kshastriyas, Brahmins, elders, Ubasakas, and those of other names and clans are about to give birth to son or daughters. Ah, yeah, this is what the one I, I remember in Taiwan, okay. That's fast. Newborn sons or daughters, their family members should recite this inconceivable sutra and recite the Bodhisattva's name a full 10,000 times during the seven days before the birth of their children. If those infants, whether male or female, were destined to undergo a terrible retribution for things done in past lives, they will be liberated from those retributions. They will be peaceful, 
happy, easily raised, and will have long lives. If those children were due to receive blessings, then their peace and happiness will be increased, and as will their lifespans, live longer life. Yeah. Moreover, universally expensive on the first eight, fourteen, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-third, twenty-fourth, twenty-eighth, twenty-ninth, and thirtieth days of the lunar month, the offenses of beings are tabulated, and their gravity are assessed. Every single movement or steering of thought on the part of beings of Jambudvipa creates karma and offenses. Everything. <laughs> Everything we think we do or not do is, is all very uh, unfavorable to us because it's mostly negative. That's what he meant. How much more is that the case when there blatantly indulge in killing, stealing, sexual misconduct, false speech, and hundreds of thousands of other kinds of obvious offenses, meaning ordinary, before doing even all these great offenses, every thought, every action, every movement of human beings often negative and create bad karma already, not to talk about doing all this as well. If they are able to recite this sutra once, on those ten vegetarian days, oh, before the images of Buddha, because this is for ordinary people who can only become vegetarian ten days. Convenient method. <laughs> so if they recite this as well, it helps them. Before the image of Buddha, Bodhisattva, or worthy one and sages, then there will be no disasters, for within a radius of one hundred yajanas, I mean, all around them is a protected field. They will be safe wherever they go. The relatives of those who reside, both old and young, now and in the future, will be apart from the evil paths, meaning they never have to walk the evil paths again. Yeah. Throughout hundreds of thousands of years, if they can recite this sutra once on each of these ten vegetarian days, then there will be no accidents or illnesses in the family, and there will be food and clothing in abundance. Now you know why the monks and nuns they recite sutra every day. A different one, huh? Not just this one. You see, every, every temple or every festival, or if you see the Dalai Lama with his monk, they always recite one plate after another, yeah? They still use this uh, old-fashioned printing, one one page at a time, single pages. They read and then they fold it, read and fold it, and then they put in cloth to protect it, very thin paper. <laughs> and they believe that reciting it to let the ghosts also hear it. <laughs> when I was at home before I left home, I recite all this, and I open my window, even though freezing in winter. I, I hope the goats will hear it and to help them, you know? Yeah, that's what I was thinking when I do this. Nobody told me this. I was thinking to help these suffering ghosts and evil spirits, yeah? And maybe some, some neighbor uh, with deaf ears be able to, you know, some words will fly into their ears, one or two, and help them too, yeah. My neighbors were so good because I recited loud, an open window, and I do this wooden fish, clock, 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 but they don't say nothing. Maybe fall asleep, you know, with the rhythm. You know. <laughs> so you recite, you have to say, Namo Namo you know, with the rhythm, and it is too basic and always the same. Probably they fall asleep, that's why they don't complain. <laughs> I didn't complain at all. But now and then I put a gong, bong, you know, that probably the way it goes. <laughs> what is that, you know? So I some door open and close, and then I namo, again, then I probably sleep again. <laughs> Moreover, there will be no accident or illnesses in the family if they recite, you know, every day for these ten vegetarian days. 
Yeah, and there will be a lot of uh, food and clothing, richness, you know. So easy to be rich and uh, sufficient. Why don't people do it? I mean, they don't have to follow me, they just recite this sutra. It's a long one. <laughs> Every day they have to recite one sutra like this for ten days. Then they have no illness and no, uh, no short of food and clothing. Universally expensive, you should know of the beneficial deeds done by earth Thor Bodhisattva as he makes use of his indescribably many billions of great awesome spiritual powers. The beings of Chambhutvipa have strong affinities with this Buddha. If they hear the Bodhisattva's name, see the Bodhisattva image, or hear but a few words even, a verse, or a sentence of this sutra, ah, so I was right. Open window, let the ghost hear, the neighbor just hear a little bit. <laughs> it's not bad, it helps, yeah. Then they will enjoy particularly wonderful peace and happiness in this present life. Through hundreds of thousands of ten thousand of future lives, they will always be handsome or beautiful, and they will be born into honorable and wealthy families. Yeah, if everybody recite this, then I don't have to do anything anymore. <laughs> we print it and give it to all the house, <laughs> and then everybody rich and healthy, wealthy and contented, so no war, no problem. Hmm? Good solution, yeah. But I'm just worried if we give to everybody, they'll throw it, you know? And that might karma. They have to believe in it, have to worship it, you know, respect it. Then they have benefit. Because this sutra is not only the merit of the Earth of Bodhisattva, it's also this embodied, you know, blessed by the words of Sakyamuni Buddha as well. You see, double blessing. Yeah. And all the names of all the Buddhas and Bodhisattva inside. That's a, a lot of blessing, yeah, I guess that's why. <sighs> Having heard the Buddha, thus come one, uh, praised earth or Bodhisattva in that way, universally expensive Bodhisattva knelt, placed his palms together, and again addressed the Buddha, saying, "Were honored one, I have long known that this Bodhisattva has both inconceivable spiritual powers and mighty vows, I have questioned the thirst come one so that beings in the future will know of these benefits. Because you wonder why a Bodhisattva don't know anything, has to ask the Buddha. No, they know, they just ask so that other people will know it, so that it becomes official and then print it in, in uh, black and white like this, a so future generation can read. Wow, this is wonderful. This is wonderful. The Buddha did a good job, and all his friends and his Sangha, you know in collecting all this, because not everybody say all this thing, you know, or all the sages, of course, they teach Kuan Yin Method, it's sufficient also, yeah. But this is for people who has no master and no Kuan Yin Method, and they'll be reborn again and again. At least they will be reborn well, happy, yeah, protected. It's wonderful. I received this answer most respectfully, were honored one. How should this sutra be titled and how should we propagate it? The Buddha said to the universally expansive, This sutra has three titles. The first is The Past Vows of Earth Bodhisattva. It is also called Earth Earth's Past Conduct and it is called also Sutra of the Power of Earth Past vows, because this Bodhisattva repeatedly makes such great and mighty vows through our long aeons to benefit beings, you should all propagate this sutra in accord with his vows. After universally expansive had heard that, he placed his palms together respectfully, made obeisance, and withdrew. End of this chapter.
man, we're lucky, have running method, <coughs> become sound hearers, and also hear all these sutra, wonderful beings in the universe who's working so hard to save us, mm. to save all beings. We're really lucky. I thank you. Sikha Moni, Earth, Store Bodhisattva, and all the Bodhisattva and the Buddha. Thank you so much. Thank you.